So my apprenticeship journey it obviously started when I applied um, and it just took off from there really and then started the job in January and um, started the training. Then we did a bit of a section rotation and then came on to our station rotation after I was critical um, and I was lacking confidence a little bit thinking oh can I do it can I not and then I gradually just believed in myself got in started all my training and I've just gained loads of confidence so overall it's not been too bad it's you get plenty of time when you're on station to do the work that you need to do and we get days to go to college uh, and attend college and obviously we learn all the time when we're actually at work doing the fire safety audit and all operational training and that's all helping us go towards college. Over the course of my apprenticeship I have learnt more skills than I could have ever expected. Things that I'd never even heard of before or known about and now I know like the back of my hand. I've developed so many skills that I would have never expected to learn before and um, I would say some of the main skills are just like my time management, making sure I'm on time for work and anything that I need to do like if we get a shout or if we're going anywhere I need to be on time and um, my organisational skills, I've had to make sure that I'm organised that I can fit my college work in with my day um, and go at work alongside the watch manager to see what, what we're doing when so that I can fit my college work and other work that I need to do in. To be honest, it was just um, a job that I, I always thought about but I didn't know that I could do it and I sort of had to just think, do you know what, you can do it, believe in yourself, you put the work in and you can do it and it's just a job that you, every, you never come in and you're doing the same thing every day, you're not sat in an office all day, every day is different, you never know what you're going to get, you get up in the morning and you never actually know what's going to happen in that day and I think that's just what I've always really, what I've always wanted. Working for an emergency service, you feel like you're helping the community all the time. Like even answering phone calls, doing community visits, just being able to talk to people and you do, you feel like you've made a difference to their day. Um, and not only that, like when you go into incidents and you see people around, they, they look up to you and it's, it's really nice to see. Oh, the best part of my job has to be the operational side, going to incidents, uh, doing all of our training, going and doing all our risk critical training like BA, RTC, water training, like it's, it's great, it's just brilliant. <laughs> but not only that, going, and do, going to the community and meeting people that you would never really probably met before and just, yeah, that's everything. <laughs> In the future, hopefully I'm a fully qualified firefighter and all the skills that I've learned, I've just carried on developing, um, yeah. My advice that I would give to somebody who is going to apply to be a firefighter is work hard and believe in yourself because you wouldn't believe what you can do if you put your mind to it. <laughs>